the draw, I was like, oh, we would play these niggas in the fucking first round. Indiana Pacers. I, I, and, and this was, like, playoffs was a big deal back then. Like, first time, oh, I think we're going to get through all they got. Okay, we young. They, they got it next year. I think we gonna, can't get. Then we get them that third year. After doing the year that we had, and we go out and lose game one, and I remember thinking, in my, "I'm like, man, we can't beat these niggas." <laughs> I, I thought that I, I, sometimes cause somebody got your number. You know what I mean? They got your number. I really thought, I was like, man, Indiana really gonna beat. We the number one seed, and they gonna put us out. I was like, we can't beat these niggas, bro. Like you can't. And, and then years later, I want to say it was like a couple years ago when Eric Snow and Iverson were talking with each other. They did it like this little YouTube clip. And they were talking about the Indiana series and how they did that. And, and they was even saying it like, yo, can we beat them, yo? Like, is it, is it, like, is it, like, like they, they were putting on, like, bro, like, this team, they've been a thorn in our ass for three years. Like, and they're like, can we beat them? So it's interesting to hear how, like, even athletes at the, the top level, they started out. But yeah, they went like after that. Then they went like it was a struggle that year, bro. Like that old one six or six. People don't know. It, 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 you went the game. You went to what four games in the Indiana series, and it was only a five game series. So they went to four in that first round. It, the, every series is seven round, uh, seven games now, but it was five back then. So they went to four as no one seed in the Indiana team. So they got through that. Next series, Vince Carter, he on the come up. The Raptors, seven game series, and they, they came within a shot. It's like the how Kawhi hit it and it bounced around. Yeah, and he yeah. it, and it, it, it was that, but Vince missed it. So this was move on. Game seven, they move in. That's the one. One game, AI dropping fifty. Next game, Vince dropping fifty. Vince dropping fifty. <laughs> drop 50 yeah. Yeah. It was so that whole time. But I remember you, you still kind of young back then. I'm in there. I'm. <laughs> I'm like, dude, like, I'm in there, like, bite it. The whole time you got mom that. Damn, what? Damn, what? I don't know why you're like, I was like, damn, what? Damn, what? You know how he was. <laughs> they was always trying to, they was always trying to jump, and then we, I couldn't go outside, because everybody on the street, they was Lakers fans. So you're like, ah, the Sixers, they ain't gonna make it out of the East. They ain't gonna do nothing. No, I like, I was gonna win. Ah, Sixers, that team's so sick. Everywhere I went, I was around the daughter. I was like, I was around my boy. Every guy, I was like, it was, every game was down to the work. So we get past Vince and them seven games there. Now, now I'm really like, this might be the one. So now we got Ray Allen, <laughs> Sam Cassell, Big Dog. Milwaukee, Milwaukee is running through. They're the number two seed in the East. They is running through people. Uh, Seven game series again. And I remember what set it off, too. I would miss one of those. I would miss a game in that series. And it was it was a close one, but then they um they won the next one. And it was like game six, yo. We got we was down by like forty in game six. So I turned it off. I'm just like, dang when it Larry Brown kept the starters in though. So I had to go back after and look at the highlights because they I was just, yeah, I was just started going off. Like he Damn. He was, he started because you know Milwaukee got comfortable. They like they was up by like forty. Then obviously just he everyone keeps him in and for whatever reason he's just like you know y'all got to play through this whatever. Boom boom boom. I mean, he ended up with like forty four points that game or something. But he's going off like that second half. He's getting three like hitting the shot, getting fouled. That's a three point play. He hit a three, got fouled. That's a four point play. He going in there. And I'm gonna hit a shot. Got fouled. He hits the free throw. They call a timeout. He go back to the to the um. He's walking over to the bench. He's dabbing people up. And he looks over at somebody. He's like, I ain't missing no more. Like I remember they <laughs> slowed it down. The camera caught it, but then they had to do it as a commercial. And it's like, look, just read Iverson lips, and it's just, I ain't missing no. I was like, oh yeah, he 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 he's like, bro, he he was. Even when he was like, I remember one shot, he shot it, missed, and came, the rebound bounced right back to him. He was at the three point line, shot it, hit it, got fought. Like, that dude, he, he went crazy on Milwaukee that second half. <laughs> he cut that shit down, like, 
10. It, like, they were down by, like, 35, almost 40 points. And that set the tone for the game. Set, like, they lost that game, honestly, but... They were, they were game six in Milwaukee, but they set the tone for game seven in Philly. They end up pulling that one out, and then they come the juggernaut. And then, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, it's over for Philly now. Oh, yeah. It's oh. over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. And so we had to travel to Georgia because Ty, Ty was graduating. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, I'm getting tired. I mean, well, this junk over. Like, yo. And they was like, well, we're going to, it's a, it's a after party or whatever. And Jackie has something. I'm like, okay. In my head, <laughs> in my head, I'm, well, no, in my head, I'm like, okay, good. Because I can go just go to her room and just get the TV to myself. Because I knew, okay, it's going to be a bunch of commotion. But I'm like, okay, we got to get there first, though. You know, and then, and then so we get there. I'm I'm I make a beeline straight for the the room, you know everybody the whole time man, man man hey it's a sweet they sweat because remember the Lakers swept everybody that year and I mean Tim everybody. Duncan David Robinson they swept Chris Webber Vlade Diva they swept Rasheed Wallace Pippen Sabon like they I mean these are heavy hitters they swept everybody and everybody looking like right there. You know they're gonna get swept, like right? I was like, in my head, you know, I'm sad. And also, but I'm like, y'all ain't seen my boy AI though. I like my boy AI. He doesn't quit like Kobe knew, but you know, a lot of people. And I'm sure because they didn't really like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, if I wasn't a fan, like that Philly team was not like it's not fun to watch. All they had was I was like you, them dudes legit couldn't. Two feet away, couldn't put the ball in the hole. Like, bro, that was a bad offensive team. Yeah. But they were a scrappy-ass defensive team. They was just scrappy like that. Larry Brown and Pat Croce knew. he. Mm-hmm. Pat Croce was the owner at the time. They're like, let's just put pit bulls on our – hey, you shoot. You That's what you want to do anyway. You shoot. Everybody else. Because – Matumbo won like people forget too. Matumbo was not on that team at the beginning of that year. It's Theo Rattler. And I, I, I was mad about the trade at first because Theo Rattler was doing his thing. But what happened was he got hurt right before the All Star game. And remember in that that year in the All Star game, remember the East had to come back. It was that big comeback with Marbury, Iverson, Carter, and they beat the West yeah. with Kobe, Garnett, Duncan, and all of them. But they had to do a big ass comeback and they, they all went off. And Matumbo helped lead that because he was blocking a bunch of shoes on the Hawks that year. And Larry Brown was the coach of the East that year because we had the best record. So he, he was looking it. at Matumbo. Yeah. And so he went to them and was like, hey, yo, we got to find a way to get Matumbo on our team. Because Matumbo was not on Philly. And I, I really think that helped put us over, too, because, you know, Matumbo was all, like, blocking shots and stuff, even yeah. at that stage. And then he came. I was mad at first because. Theo, Theo's my boy. He was testing laws from Iverson. Like, he was real skinny and agile. He could move better. I was kind of like, but he was hurt, though. But So they made that trade. And I really think that kind of helped put us over the hump. But yeah, like, so going into that, I'm in the back. You know how, you know how Ed Jackie room used to be. You're in the back by yourself. And I'm just sitting there. I'm just, they just going. I mean, I mean, this is one of the, I had, Iverson <laughs> play some games. He is, Bro, I'm saying, even me, I'm in awe. Like, I'm used to this dude, like, but he is going all uh, on the, I'm like, bro, uh, this is the Lakers. This is the old one Lakers. Like, this is one of the best teams in the And he is going all. And I remember at one point, Mar Robert, like, he shot it. He was like, Harrison from way downtown. He switched it. He was like, Allen Iverson tearing the Lakers <laughs> apart. Like, he was, Bro, I even I'm sitting here. I'm like, bro, man, this dude is going. I'm like, oh yeah, he ain't trying to lose shit. Like he was going, like, and then um, uh, it got to it was getting close, and so the final was so late. You know, they came still at eight around that time, and it's going into overtime. So now I'm mad because they're like, oh, we trying to, we gotta leave, we gotta go back to the house and stuff like that. I'm like, the game went overtime. I'm like, what are we doing? Like. So you gotta go back across the, like they don't stay like what fifteen minutes away yeah. from each other. But yeah. Still, I'm like six, overtime only five, so it's kind of yeah. like we kind of like the tail end of the fourth quarter, lose, got all of a locked up, holding on, all type of shit. So we make it in time for the for overtime, right? So we get there. I mean, 
I make a beeline for that middle room. You know, I get to the TV that nobody wants. You know, I'm in that middle room right there. Like, uh, so I'm in there. <laughs> I get to the thing. So she, now at this point now, dad watching. It's late too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. To, to this day, I really, like you was in there, but like again, like you so yeah, I don't remember you saying too much of stuff either. I, I don't think I, I you, said a lot, but I remember it. I remember it. I vivid. think you was going for the Lakers back then. Cause you used to go for the opposite. Just to make you mad, yeah. Whatever yeah. would make you mad. So, we turned it on. I think it was me, you, dad, and other people. Like mom was in and out, so we piled up in it. Now, then, then I didn't have scored a bucket until like late in the. the his last bucket was like late in the third quarter, so he didn't score all the fourth quarter. Like Lou doing all this thing, so third uh, overtime starts. Boom! He gets a late. He gets five. He he gets a. They get a turnover. He gets a three. He hits it. He's doing all that. Like so, even dad at this point, he's like, "Oh man, I was in. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> right, he go. I was like, he go. And then when he they go, oh. that win in overtime, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at other people. Like, yeah, y'all said my boys was gonna get swept, <laughs> and they did. I like they got the they they beat. I like when they got that first win. I was like, oh, yeah, then we got to say, because nobody could even put a dent in the Lakers. Yes. I'm like, here you got this little bitty weak ass East team who's got a juggernaut, though. Like, and I was saying, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, I told, I, I, I told, I'm like, this is though. I was like, y'all talking about all these other people. I'm like, this dude just went and put his foot in the Lakers' ass this game. Like, yeah, that was one of the best games I had ever seen. I but I think it's kind of like hearing, "Oh, you are gonna get swept? You are gonna get swept? You are gonna get swept? You are gonna get swept?" You know, they, they, like, they, interviewed them. Them. they interviewed them after that, and he was they was interviewed him right there on the court, and he was uh he was like, "Hey man, they can put them brooms away." Like yo, everybody like you are gonna get swept? You gonna swept? We took that as like the slap in the face, and they, and the guy was like, uh, "I forgot his name," but um he was like, "Well." Like you was hot early, but you cooled off because of the defense against Teron Lou. And I remember him looking over, like he's like, "Well, he was holding me the whole time." <laughs> like, he was like when he got on me, he was like, "But he's like, it is what it is. That we gonna come back and run." But people forget they they damn near stole game two, and I was in there having a good of a game. He he uh he had like seventeen or nineteen points in game two. Keep in mind he went from forty eight to like seventeen and nineteen. So. What happened though in the beginning of game two, he came out. I don't remember he, he hit this move, <laughs> shot it, hit this move, and Doug Collins was like, "Uh oh!" I was like, "You know what?" Because I was waiting. They won. Doug Collins and on the commentary, he's like, "Uh oh!" He's like, "Yeah, better not get him going again because y'all gonna be in trouble." And uh, but he only had like seventeen, and. But they they lost barely at the like the last minute or so. That's when LA took over, and that was a game when they saw. You know they play that clip of him and Kobe arguing all the time. That was yeah, that game. that's but that's what game that is. That, that was game two. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't realize. Wait, hold on. What's up? I didn't realize that's what game. I thought that was a regular season game. I didn't realize. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. What's up? You don't, I mean, we could. You just don't want to cook the shit. You just don't, I'll cook it, though. I'll cook it. Okay. But no, that was, um, that was game two of that series. When they, when you see them both going back, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Cause I, cause what it was, was Kobe started talking to him, and I was like, bro, you, be, y'all barely got this, and I, I didn't even get off. He was like, oh, he's like, and then that, that's when they was arguing about and Fisher trying to step, yeah, that wasn't no regular season, that was game two of that series. Well, I didn't realize that was game two. Kobe, another yeah. guy, Kobe, he was a dog. Kobe, a dog. But he, what I tried to tell Anthony was, Kobe was not having that greatest series. That's like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, so you got to think like, because he was all about like, oh, oh, AI wasn't the one with 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 Shaq. But I'm like, bro, like you got to think when I mean, Kobe. Now he had a fire playoff, like all the way up until that point. Now I ain't, I'm, I'm not gonna say because Kobe was fucking going off on team that whole um playoff run. And but 
And I wasn't a big. I mean, of course, I didn't like Kobe back then because back, back then, then it was him. And, it was him and AI. They, they was number one, number two. But there was a time, you know. I know Anthony and Autumn don't like when you need to clip this too. They don't like to admit it, but there was a time when Iverson was the better two guard in that league. Like he, because Kobe admit he like I had to get better to chase this guy around because he he was relentless. Like he was nonstop. Iverson went. He could miss a hundred shots. That hundred and one shot, he think that bitch going in. Going in. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't gonna stop. And and what I always try to point out to them is think about game one, what Phil Jackson had to do. Tyron Lou wasn't a regular player playing. So he's like, I gotta get somebody smaller to chase out because Kobe was on him. But AI was still going off. Like AI went off the only game of that series he didn't go off was game two. This nigga had 30-plus in every other game. Like, game one, he had 48. Game three, 30-something. Like, you know, we didn't win no other one, but he was still getting off. But but that game, even with him not getting off, this is why I tell how certain plays and stuff can sway a series. Then why we just throw two games in that way? Because we damn near stole game two now. Like, that's what I was saying. Like, and that's why they was arguing back and forth like that. Because he was basically like, bro, you – like, look, yeah, y'all barely, and it was like, oh, come on with, like, basically, like, oh, the series just starting, and, and Fish is kind of, like, trying to, yo, y'all step right, ah, right. they just talking, like, but I did not like Kobe Bryant back then, because I'm like, they, like, you going against our people, and I know, okay, y'all the one and two, two guards, shooting guards, and I am just like, nah, I was on Kobe's head back then, bro, nah, fuck that, I'm, hey, I'm team AI all the way.